this is, I hope, also going to blow you away. We are announcing Mac OS X here today. Now, what does the apple of internet greeting cards mean? Well, let's look at the other guys for a minute. This is taken right off the most popular greeting card site on the internet. I won't name names. But, you know, they spared no expense. They used several colors. It's incredible. <laughs> and here's another one. You know, may your new year be something. Here's a third. Happy New Year. Now, th these things make me slightly embarrassed to be a human. <laughs> we can do better than this. I want to show you an app that I hope you never see. Um, and uh, I'm going to go back uh, and uh, go to the Finder, and I'm going to go to uh, Apps, and this one's called the Bomb app. And we actually wrote this app, uh, and we wrote it because we wanted to make sure, and also to demonstrate, that when an app crashes in Mac OS X, it does not bring the system down, like we all are used to. So, I'm going to launch the Bomb app. Now, this Bomb app does everything it can to kill the system. It goes walking through low memory. It does all these heinous things. And, uh, and so I'm going to, uh, I'm actually just going to go ahead and uh, play, the, uh, play the trailer here maybe a little bit. And, uh, you know, we just, I'll just go ahead and light this thing. <coughs> no problem. Good morning, Mr. Hunt. Sorry I barged in on your vacation. Again. So let me just run that again because, believe it or not, uh, a lot of people have been waiting for this for 10 years. And it's actually uh, here. And again, this is going to do everything it can to trash the system. Nothing. Good morning, Mr. Hunt. Sorry I barged in. Okay. Where does it go when a window minimizes? Well, it goes here. And you notice my dock just grows, right? Let me open another one. Minimize it. And of course, I can move these things around in the dock anywhere I want to. Right? Whoops. I didn't want to do that. Sorry. And I can just hit them. Neutralize them. Boom. Boom. Pretty cool, huh? Let me even show... I can slow this down. We built in a special slow-mo mode for the demo here today. Look at this. <laughs> Isn't that cool? It's just, it's just magical. Michael Dell said some disparaging things about us lately, <laughs> publicly, and uh, we're not going to engage in that sort of thing, but let me show you their product. This is their consumer notebook, and uh, it looks like this, and you can just sort of see it's about that thick, and it's got some nice fans in the back, so you can keep an eye on them. And uh, <laughs> so this is, this is what theirs looks like. And uh, let me show you the new iBook. This is the new iBook. 1.3 inches thick. There it is. I don't think it could be more black and white. <laughs> <laughs> so let me show you these things thickness-wise, too. You see that? You know? You can look at the backs of them. We even pay attention to that. So. So first of all, what are we going to call it, just so we have a name to refer it by? Well, as you know, we, we tend to start our consumer products with the prefix I and our pro products with the prefix power. And we tend to end our desktops with Mac and we tend to end our portables with, with book. So, since we're such logical folk, uh, iBook is the name of this product. Now, so that's iBook. And what I'd love to do is show it to you right now. It's really beautiful. This is what it looks like. Right? And 
It's got some beautiful features on it. First of all, this is the front of it, and this is the back. This is the side. Now, this is made incredibly durably. This is polycarbonate plastic, the stuff they make bulletproof vests out of. But we've gone one step further. We've double shot it in rubber all the way around. So what you see in orange is all rubber. It feels wonderful and it makes the unit even safer to travel with. Again, all on the back. When you open it up, it's really beautiful inside. Again, full-size keyboard and pointing device, beautiful 12-inch screen. Here's the communications on this side. The communication port's all on the side. CD-ROM comes out this side. And let me tell you a few other really great things about this. One of the most incredible, it has a handle. And so it has something that no other portable on the market has. But it's also missing something that every other portable has. Notice anything missing? A latch. There's no latch on the iBook. It works like your cell phone to beautifully close and stay closed and yet lift just by your finger. It's really beautiful. So that is iBook. Uh, well, but there is one more thing. There is one more thing. Let me just show this to you for a minute, okay? Uh, can, can you come on up here? I just want to show you this working. And uh, I've got one here that's uh, actually working here. And um, let's see here now. So this is coming up out of sleep mode. Let's get the lights down so we can get a nice picture on the, uh, on the screen. So uh, you see me, you see my browser here? There? Yeah, there you go. So I, I'm just going to go to Apple's website here. Hold on. And uh, I want to show you the quality of the display. Can you see it up there okay? Yeah, let's, let's get the lights down a little more. You can, you can zoom in on it if you want to. There you go. There's Apple's display, and, and we even have a webcast going, uh, actually, that you can go to now. Um, and uh, it's, it's pretty cool. So, um, now it's taking a while here for me to do. I'm going to go somewhere else. I don't want to wait. I'm going to go to CNN Interactive here and uh, see what's on CNN. Oh, there's CNN, you can see. Uh, and uh, maybe I'll go to Disney here. You know, I can, I can let you come on over here. Let me show them the, uh, show, show these guys how it works. Come on over here. You want to get behind me there? Yeah. Uh, so uh, I can just go to Disney.com here. Oh, you notice something? Thank you. You notice the. Uh, No wires. No wires. What is going on here? We are really excited to announce, in addition to iBook, airports, wireless networking. All right. Now, hopefully, I will be connected to Phil's iBook. I think I am. Phil, you want to rattle your iBook up and down, get that accelerometer going? There it is. There's Phil. And so uh, this is all happening totally wireless. Now, to prove that to you, I've asked Phil to do something he's never done before. And I told Phil he's going to get into the demo hall of fame if he'll just do this one simple thing for me. So Phil, where are you? Hey, guys. There he is. <laughs> so tell I'm us what here. you I've got the iBook. It's got the accelerometer attached to it, and um, this couldn't be a better place to prove it's really wireless. I am up here. Well, that's great. So what are you going to do for us, Phil? I, don't know, I thought maybe I'd just throw it off the side and try to get some acceleration going. Well, that, that could be good, but I, yeah. I think it's something a little more drama to it. I, I think you should jump. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't think the mics are working. You said what? <laughs> I think you should jump. All right. I don't know, you guys think I should do it? 
I don't think I know anybody really out there. <laughs> okay, so why don't you go ahead and rattle a power book. Prove it. Just to show us it's still working here. There we go. So any last words you want to say, Phil? Well, I did a demo of Apollo 11 since it's the 30th anniversary. It's probably the appropriate thing to say is this is definitely one small step for a man and, and one giant leap for wireless networking. Okay. So let's count Phil down. We're going to go three, two, one, jump. Ready? Three, two, one, jump. <laughs> Woo! Big hand for Phil here. And there's a new generation of cell phones out that has Bluetooth built in. And so we can use Bluetooth as a, as a modem to get onto the internet for our portable computers, but we can also actually dial the phone. And so I'm going to just go ahead and say, dial. And this is now transmitting that information to my phone, and my phone should be calling Phil. And there he is. Who could it be? <laughs> Howdy. Hi, Steve. OK. Now, <laughs> Phil can even call me, actually. And let's see what happens when Phil calls me. When Phil calls me, it takes the caller ID from Phil's phone, the number, and looks it up in the address book to actually give me the name of Phil Schiller right here. <laughs> And I can send him to, I can, send, I can answer, I can send it to voicemail, or I can send an SMS reply and say, I'm busy right now. <laughs> send it, boom, we're done. So, pretty cool. iPod has got Apple design. We've got one of the best design teams in the world, and they have done a remarkable job. Uh, and let me show you. This is what iPod looks from the side. Again, about three quarters of an inch thick. I'm going to show you the back first because I'm in love with it. It's stainless steel. It's really, really durable. It's beautiful. And this is what the front of it looks like. Boom. That's iPod. I haven't had one right here in my pocket, matter of fact. There it is, right there. So. This amazing little device holds a thousand songs, and it goes right in my pocket. You know, you see, there is more to this world than megahertz and megabytes, isn't there? <laughs>